Hello, and welcome to St. Mary's Now, a partnership between the Enterprise newspaper and the Forest Center TV video production program. I'm Jessica Eumanns. And I'm Joshua Wright, and here's the latest news from the Enterprise. Maryland will be raising the smoking age to 21 starting October 1st. They will all be considered tobacco-free products, and you will have to be 21 to buy them. The passage of House Bill 1169 will raise the smoking age in Maryland to 21, as well as tobacco products regardless of their nicotine concentration. However, vendors will still be able to sell tobacco products to active duty service members who are at least 18 with their military IDs. Vapes have become a serious issue in schools, where the usage by high school students have nearly doubled last year, increasing from 11% in 2017 to almost 21% in 2018. According to a presentation from the school system, black students at St. Mary's Public Schools make up over half the number of students who were suspended three or more times a school year, even though they represent less than one-fifth of the student population. Maureen Montgomery, the school system's deputy superintendent, and Cheryl Long, director of student services, presented the numbers on April 10th at a St. Mary's County NAACP meeting at the Leonardtown Public Library. A local robotics team is gearing up to participate in an international competition next week. The RoboBees, a high school team that is part of the Growing STEMS program, competed in the Chesapeake District Championship against teams from Washington, Maryland, and Virginia at George Mason University in Fairfax, Virginia last weekend, where they made it to quarterfinals. The team is the highest seeded team of all the region's teams for the first global championship in Detroit, which starts next Wednesday, April 24th. On Tuesday at Choptakan High School, four smack track and field teams came together for a quad meet that featured the hosts in addition to Calvert, La Plata, and St. Charles. According to unofficial results, St. Charles swept the meet on the boys' side, with the girls also taking a win. St. Charles senior Sherrod Fry won all three of his individual events, taking home first place, finishing in the 200-meter dash, long jump, and the triple jump. Fry stated, I feel like it did in each event. I did pretty good. And the team did pretty good as well. This news brief has been provided by the Enterprise. For more details, visit somdnews.com. That's all we have for you on this edition of St. Mary's Now. I'm Joshua Wright. And I'm Jessica Eumanns, signing off.